1822. So, is Dean Ambrose leaving WWE or is it a work? Because, you know, the WWE never really let people know when somebody not going to resign. Usually, you know, when you get news from WWE on their Twitter account, they announced the release of that individual. A couple of days ago, they posted that Dean Ambrose were not resign with them, and they wish him the best of luck. And I read that they offered him a five-year deal. He turned it down. That's a lot of years to be in a wrestling promotion like the WWE, where you travel so much. Now, if this will work, what's the point of it being a work? Because it's not like this is going to be a compelling storyline with Dean Ambrose leaving the WWE. It's not a brought another situation where everybody wondering, like against uh, Roman Reigns and WrestleMania. Everybody wondering, is he leaving? That's compelling. And we wonder again when he retained against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Dean Ambrose don't give you that feeling of, okay... Is it possible that Dean Ambrose leaving or not? Because now we all know the news about Dean Ambrose. And the next couple of weeks on Monday Night Raw, will we get a compelling storyline with Dean Ambrose about leaving? Most likely, no. We will not get that. Because Dean Ambrose have not been compelling in a long time, since the days of the Shield. The first go around with the Shield. United States champion Dean Ambrose. The guy that looked like he would become a big star out the fashion. The guy I call the best promo worker in the WWE. Since that awesome podcast, I noticed that Dean Ambrose just don't have that fire. Or maybe he don't have the fire because of the situation that happened with him and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. He said Brock Lesnar didn't want to do such and such. So hey, maybe Dean Ambrose said, you know what? If Brock don't do such and such, I am not going to do such and such. He came back, put on a lot of muscle, looked like Dean Ambrose was going to revive himself. No, same Dean Ambrose, same guy that I was soured on. Him and Seth Rollins had a bad match. The crowd was into it. Dean Ambrose was a talented performer, but he hadn't shown the last couple years in WWE. Now, a lot of people say the guy, John Moxley, that's the guy they like. They said he was great. I never got a chance to see him, you know, in the past before he went to WWE. All I know is the guy I had watched in WWE. So, what's going to happen? With Dean Ambrose. You know, I noticed something on uh, Raw that <laughs> he oversold Nia Jack forearm to the neck. He oversold Seth Rollins curve stump. So, hey, if he's doing that, <laughs> most likely he is leaving because when you ever see Dean Ambrose oversell a curve stump, like the guy oversold it, like you would think he was a rock the way he oversold the curve stump. He never oversold anything. So watching that had me saying, okay, so yeah, he could be actually leaving. Because I never see him do that right there. So if you're a fan of Dean Ambrose, you should be happy to leave the WWE. Because at times you need somewhere else to go and light a fire under your ass. And maybe that's what Dean Ambrose just need. It gotta be something that that's just disappointed him. There's no way he's just melting in just to do it. Even though I'm very sour on the Emeralds. I'm not going to say that he's just doing it just to do it. I think it's something in a W that has him doing it. And whenever his contract expires, we'll get some interviews. He tell us what happened. Because I will be intrigued by a D. Emeralds shoot interview why he left WWE if he actually leaving. If that's a storyline, you just waste everybody's time. Because it would not go anywhere for us. What's the point of having a storyline on D. Emeralds leaving? Like, what was the last time you really had, okay, a storyline where you had one with CM Punk? But CM Punk was going against John Cena. So that worked pretty well when CM Punk won the belt at Money in the Bank. That was a special time period between those two guys. Dean Ambrose can't give you that. There's no program that Dean Ambrose in to make a compelling storyline about him leaving WWE. So, is Dean Ambrose leaving WWE or is it work? I say he's actually being in WWE because they they you know, tweet out his government name and everything. <laughs> you know, you they don't do that. I can't remember the last time somebody said they're gonna leave and the company announced like it's so many times. Like when you heard like okay, Dolph Ziggler, and they say hey, you know Dolph Ziggler such and such. 
Might leave WWE. They don't tweet that stuff like that. He said his contract up after WrestleMania, which is in April, of course. It's January, almost February. We won't see what happen with Dean Arrows the next couple weeks on Monday Night Raw. We'll find out. Is it just an angle or Dean Arrows as he leaving the WWE? And someday he will be back because everybody come back to WWE. So give me your thoughts on Dean Arrows. Is he leaving WWE? Or you believe, just like everybody else, it's nothing but a work. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.